you should definitely not miss these opportunities if you want to crack your first role into data analysis into digital marketing into software engineering or it professional so for any of these opportunities this can be your kick starting opportunity even if you are in college or you have passed out or you have even worked for some company and you wish to switch your domain so this can be something that is really amazing so this is a program known as google apprenticeship program so what all is there in this apprenticeship program and how can you participate in this? What are the chances that you get selected and what will be asked in the interview rounds of this particular program? So we'll discuss about each and everything for different roles, different opportunities, different apprenticeships. So without any further ado, let's get started. And also the like target of this video is 1500 likes. Let's see if we can reach these 1500 likes as early as possible so that you can get more and more amazing content very very soon so you can check out the apprenticeship page of google where you will find different apprenticeships that are available so you can check for the eligibility you can check for the application materials and what else is needed eligibility as you can see they have only mentioned it as strong academic performance at any level of education or transferable experience ability to speak or write in english or the local language fluently have authorization to work in the country that you're applying for. So now you can see for India, there are several uh, apprenticeship opportunities that are available. First is data analytics. Next is digital marketing. Third is information technology and fourth is project management. So let's say let's click on this data analytics apprenticeship. So in this data analytics apprenticeship, so uh, this is open for locations across Hyderabad and Gurgaon, Hyderabad, Gurgaon and Mumbai. So you need to be bachelor's in any field maximum of one years of relevant experience in data analytics maximum of one means less than one years of experience you should have you should not have more than one year of experience you can be a college grad or you should have one year of experience that's the only thing that they require for this particular apprenticeship next we'll talk about digital marketing apprenticeship digital marketing apprenticeship mein, uh you will see this this starts from uh february the the last day to register for this is october 27th right uh please include one page motivation letter from with your application describing why you're excited to take this opportunity they just wish to know ki why this is important first step would be a google online challenge that would be held on 12th october and 13th october and fifth first this 12th october and 13th october one is done fifth and sixth november you can take part in you will be applying for different opportunities different locations bachelor's degree in any field you should have maximum of one years of relevant experience experience working with computers preferred qualifications may experience working in other industries be it events media customer service any would work excellent problem solving analytical skills time management skills and that's it so this is something for digital marketing apprenticeship let's see a little bit about it apprenticeship what are they looking out for in this particular thing so the last date for this is also 27th uh, october so bachelor's degree in like engineering or other technical disciplines six months of experience to an it or related technical fields be it personal projects coding languages well, anything that you should have done either you are a computer science graduate or interested in computer science you have worked in some company each and every one of you is uh, uh, eligible experience and customer service roles it's a good to have but you should uh, your uh, niche should be in and around technology so this is something that you should uh, uh, check out for next is project management apprenticeship what is there so in this project management apprentice so in this project management apprenticeship so here also you need to include a one page uh, uh, motivation letter you, again you should be working with computers less than one years of experience in project management ability to speak english fluently before we move ahead with this program i would like to tell you about seven days free trial that an academy is currently providing for gate subscription you can you can access all the classes from premium educators plus educators for free you can learn these computer science fundamentals like os dbms oops data structure algorithms from the best of the faculties for the next seven days completely for free all you have to do is click on the link in the description below register using the code arsh underscore goel and you can access these classes on cell phone on their app completely for free free so this is something that is really very that can be really very useful if you're preparing for it companies if you're preparing for software engineering roles or if you're preparing for gate so do check out the link in the description and register for seven days free trial of an academy now this we have seen you have four different apprenticeships that are open right now what do you need to prepare for these how can you apply for this who is eligible if you talk about eligibility criteria you should have an experience of less than one years in any of these fields you can be a college graduate you can be someone who is pursuing a particular job role and wish to switch you can be someone who is unemployed at this point of time so you can also apply 
so all of you can apply for different different roles different apprenticeships it can be it it can be data analytics it can be digital marketing it can be project management so four of these are available right now so what is the process like so first thing that is very important in this uh, selection process of th these particular apprenticeships are your application so your application means your resume that you are going to submit and the motivation letter that they have asked for so you should express each and everything your experience like why you would be a suitable candidate for let's say a data analytics apprenticeship you might have done some projects in college or you might have been working in this particular technology and you are more excited towards data analytics so you need to justify that in your resume with your project with your experiences secondly let's say for it uh, apprenticeships you should have some experience working in tech field maybe you are interested in operating systems or databases or coding so you know ba basic coding basic programming so you should have that thing in your resume but your resume should overall look good that is something that is the first criteria you can be a college student L eligibility we have already discussed next once your resume is shortlisted then you will be receiving a call from the recruiter what that call would be that call would basically be for letting you know that your resume has been shortlisted and your interviews are going to be scheduled so there can be two to three interview rounds based upon uh, your uh, performance in each of these rounds so what exactly is to be asked in these interviews these interviews are not going to be very technical that i would like to say like i've talked to people who have been selected in these apprenticeships last year so what they mentioned were ki it was more of a googliness round only when i say googliness round it was more of how well you are aligned with the values that are there in google more of a non tech interview but let's say if you are preparing for data analytics or if you are preparing for it then a little bit of basics of data analytics might be asked little bit basics of coding might be asked in it professional but not very typical it's something that anyone who is who has started with this field who know who knows the basic things he would be able to answer so the questions were not very typical it's more about how you express yourself your confidence so that is something that you will be judged more upon when you are appearing for these interviews there can be two to three rounds of these interviews and you will be selected on the basis of those for this particular apprenticeship now the question comes what is exactly this apprenticeship is it an internship with google how it is different from internship in general so what happens in apprenticeship is like as i already mentioned there's hiring criteria are not very strict so they'll put you to a program you will be exactly working with google you'll be working with them along with that there is a third party company who will be teaching you who will be giving you sessions or training on that particular technology let's say data analytics there'll be a third party who will be training you on data analytics and simultaneously you will be working upon some projects in google uh, that involve data analytics so you will be working also and you will be getting trained also that too for free and this entire program is a paid program like you will be paid a salary or a stipend that can help you bear all your needs so that stipend amount is also very good like i have not been asked to disclose that amount but in general if, if i talk about a general fresher out of college uh, earns a good amount of salary in a product based company it's close to that right so it's a very good stipend that you uh, get out of this particular apprenticeship so now the decision is ki should you go for this or should you just uh, look out for full time opportunities the main thing in this is like you work for google for 2 years for in this program but there's no surety that you will be getting a full time role at google you might get good knowledge you might get good projects then you can apply for different companies and get selected there are chances that you can apply for google also but yes you will have to go through the entire process you will have to go through the interviews after 2 years then only there are chances if you perform well you can get into google as a full time software engineer or a full time role that these particular apprenticeships I hope you got a better clarity on whether you should apply how you should apply and the last date is approaching really very soon make sure you apply for all these if you are looking forward to get into such a program where you learn along with that you start earning and you work upon some good projects that was all for this particular video i hope you people like this amazing video like target was 1500 likes i hope this will cross and do let me know in the comment section if you have any more doubts i'll try to reply to each one of you thank you so much all the best good luck bye